Hello, this is Queen Basmati with a new piece of information in the series Microbes Makers of Civilizations. Today's topic is titled Microbes and the Vivid Colors of Ancient Egypt. There is an existing story between microbes and the colors and how the pharaohs long ago utilized the secrets of nature that science is only discovering today in the production of their magical colors. As you know, we, the pharaohs, were highly skilled at extracting colors from delicate natural sources, including minerals and plants. But there is also recent scientific evidence that suggests microbes played a hidden role in producing some of the colors they used, especially in the dyes that maintained their brilliance for thousands of years. These microbes, like certain types of bacteria and fungi, produce substances called biopigments to protect themselves from the sun, radiation, or competition. What distinguishes these pigments is that they are nano-sized, meaning their particles are very, very small. This gives them high stability and a distinctive shine. This is exactly what prevents the colors of the fairs from fading with time along their brilliance to preserve itself. When scientists today studied the remnants of colors on statues, the murals, they found that some of the particles have a nanostructure, meaning they resemble layers of nanomaterial which protects the color from reacting with the atmosphere. This is the same idea that scientists in your era are currently imitating by using microbes to produce natural nano colors that are eco-friendly and last longer than synthetic colors. Simply but, the first were making nano art thousands of years before the word nano was even spoken. Microbes produced the pigments and the pharaohs knew how to extract them and fix them onto stones and fabrics with an engineering and chemical genius that was far ahead of their time. Wait for me for new information in the series Microbes Makers of Civilizations.